Tentacles straight ahead. Oh, yes, I can almost taste them. <laughs> Professor, look out! <laughs> We've been inked! Oh, retreat! Retreat! No! Oh. Yeah! That was some fast squirting, Professor. What were those slithery beasts? Oh, just some gulper eels out looking for a meal. Nothing to worry about. Those little fellas were out to eat you. Gulper eels can open their mouths wide enough to swallow creatures much bigger than they are. Uh, now, where were we? Ah, hmm. Inkling to barnacles. Go ahead, Professor. We've planted all the coral. And we're coming home. Good work. We'll see you soon. I think um, I may need a little help getting my tentacles untangled. I'll get you out, Professor. Those rocks are no match for me. <laughs> Yeah! I've almost <laughs> got it! It's not safe down here, Quasi. Get out while you still can! A pirate never leaves his crew behind! Yow! Or his tail! Captain, I'm picking up some big tremors coming from the midnight zone. The sea floor's breaking up. Come in, Captain! Tight! We've lost contact, Captain. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Professor Inkley and Quasi are trapped in the midnight zone. They're wedged in under some boulders. We have to get them out right away. Tight space, heavy lifting, sounds like a job for... The Octomax suit! Just what I was thinking. The air tank is only good for a short mission. Then we'll have to work fast. Tweak, Dashy, Peso, let's go. He says it had a swirly shell about this big. Was this the creature? What the boo? Jumping jellyfish. What is it, Shellington? It's a cone snail. No wonder Quasi is acting so strange. A cone snail sting is full of poison. And it must still be here, somewhere on the ship. We'd better find it before anyone else gets stung. Shellington, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> There's a dangerous cone snail somewhere aboard the ship. We need to find it and release it back into the water. Cone snail, you say? Ah, yes. Little fellows that can sting you with tiny harpoons. And they have up to 20 harpoons ready to fire, each full of poison that can make you very sick. Captain, there's no medicine for a cone snail sting. Time and rest are the only cure. But why would it sting Quasi? It was probably just scared and trying to protect itself. We'll have to be very, very careful around it. Octonauts, let's split up and find that cone snail. Uh, no, nobody captures me, see? Octonauts, any sign of the cone snail? Not yet, Cap. Anyone else? No. <laughs> oh no, 
Inkling, Dashy and Shellington have all been stung. Peso, I'm bringing three more patients to the sick bay. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh. Tweak, the cone snail must be somewhere in the octo chutes. I need you to close them off. On it, Cap. I'll let you know as soon as... <gasps> Tweak, are you all right? Oh, my. Oh, me. Oh. Peso, you'd better prepare one more bed. Oh. How are you doing, Peso? This is a lot of patients to take care of at once. Don't worry, Captain. I'm a medic. Taking care of people is what I do. Luckily, I have some help. Hmm. He must be in the vents. Right. I'm going after him. What's the big idea? Captain, you did it! Tunip, let's prepare a nice muddy space for our guests in the garden pod. Dashy, set a course for the mangrove forest. Already on it, Captain. Think you'll be all right in here, mudskippers. Ah, oh, the mud's a little lumpy, but uh, I guess it ain't terrible. Yeah, not bad. I skipped in worse. Good. Well, uh, we'll see you in the morning then. Good night. Oh, what in the world? Captain, what's that horrible noise? I'm not sure, Peso. It sounds like it's coming from the garden pod. What's going on? Just solving a situation here. My mud wrestling? It was in my mud. Your mud? Forget about it. It's my mud now. I'm not listening. Talk to the fish. Easy, mud skippers. We just want to... Oh! <laughs> They're heading for the HQ! Here's mud in your eye! Hey, whoever jumps the highest gets all the mud to himself! You're on! Check this out! <laughs> you call that a jump? This is a jump! Hey! Jump jellyfish! What's going on? Oh! Duh. These mud skippers are having a rumble over the mud and they sure fight dirty! Of course! I should have known! Mud skippers like to have their own space and they often fight over it! Uh oh! Then there's only one way to settle this. We'll have to separate them until we reach the mangrove forest in the morning. Ha! Ah. Peso, Quasi, catch! Quasi, scoop up some mud and head for the game pod. Peso, you take some mud to the launch bay and I'll head back to the garden pod. Hey, that's my mud! Come back! Sorry about this. Catch me if you can! <laughs> Is everyone comfortable now? Sure am. Thanks to Peso, I've got this whole place to myself. Oh, yeah! Quasi said the mud is all mine. My name is Mud. Captain Mud. Uh, let's get some sleep now. We need to take you mud skippers to your new home as early as possible tomorrow morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Now this is what a mangrove forest should look like. Archway up ahead. Check. Go under it and to the left. We're coming up on some rocks, Quasi. Which way now? Um, go around the biggest rock and to the right. No, no, the left. We should be getting close now. Closer. Oh, 
I think I see the shipwreck. Ah, it's just some rocks. Quasi, we found your shipwreck. Oh, protect us from the sea monster, Captain. Jashi, Peso, we'll look for that golden jar. Yow! <gasps> Ready or not, here I come! <gasps> if I were a sea monster, where would I hide? He's got eight heads, so he must be pretty clever. That looks like a good hiding place. <gasps> um. with eight heads just disappear into a wall of solid rock. Octonauts, over here. <gasps> Captain, what is it? Look. The golden jar that was on your map, Quasi. Oh, this will make a beautiful photo. Aye, matey, but don't get too close. Captain, the sea monster could be hiding behind that golden jar. <laughs> 